Hey folks, Matt from Art of the Image.com. So we've got the Nikon D7500 here. As you know, I just did the last video was an unboxing of this 7500. We got the 18 to 140 on it, the kit. Now, I do have a 50 f 14 d and I'm pretty sure the D lenses will work on here. I have to double check that. We have to make sure that the 7500 has an internal motor drive, but the 7000 series almost always does. Pretty sure the 7500 does. I will double check that, and if so, we will be using the 50 f 14 d on here as well to show you some, some shots, especially, as you know, the 50 on DX is one of my favorites because it gives us about a 75 millimeter field of view in 35 terms uh, in the sense of the crop sensor 1.5 multiplier, which is very close to an 85 portrait lens. And of course, when I put a 51.4 on there, we've got a very fast lens with a beautiful um, ability to isolate our background with very shallow depth of field. Now, this one here, this was the lens I told you in the previous video that I also had got in. This is the... Uh, AFS VR Zoom Nikkor 70 to 300 f45 to 56 G IFED. So, bit of a mouthful. And this lens has obviously been out on loan a little bit because the box is actually getting a little beat up here. And we're missing a couple. Oh, are we missing our. No, it's in there. The uh, front element. Let me double check and make sure. Okay, I was just making sure we didn't uh, get an, um, a lens that had arrived scratched because the packaging on there was not very good. I'm extremely picky about how I store and take care of my lenses. Um, and so um, I, I, um, I'm always a little weary of things like that. I like to see things well taken care of. So there's our 70-300 to 300 zoom. We've got a, a um, hood that comes with it. There's the, the, there, there's the length of it extended. It's not an internal zoom. You, when you get internal zooming, that's usually on our higher end lenses. External means it extends. So we've got it extending. That's at that 300 mark right there. And uh, let's put it on the 7500. We're going to be shooting with this today. Actually, I plan on shooting the, um, this lens here quite a bit. Let me just double check. Yeah, I think we're clean. Give me one second. Again, this lens seemed a little dusty, so I got my compressed air. Again, that's just me being um, a little bit uh, particular. But if we have a dusty rear element, we take a brand new camera and put it on, you could be introducing, let me line up our marks here, a... Um, a lot of dust into your sensor. I'm basically making your sensor dirty, you're going to get those sensor spots, if you want to call them that, the dust spots on your sensor, black marks. Um, you know, if you shoot an open sky or something, you're going to see all these little dust spots on there. So we don't want that. And um, we're going to make sure that we don't do that by cleaning off our lenses, rear elements, and our caps, which is something I always like to do. If you want to check it out, I just use dust off. So it's a can of compressed air. Basically, instead of blowing on it with your mouth, which isn't the worst thing, but you can get spit from your mouth in there or other particles. So uh, dust off is great. And I just tend to use that a couple quick shots. Removes any dust or whatever on the lens. And then we get a nice clean connection. So that's the 7500 with the 70 to 300 on there. Now, this isn't the DX version 7500. This is the full frame version. So this will work on your 610 on your 750, on your 810, your 850, your 800, any of the um, full frame bodies. So, and this is actually a very good lens. I requested this specifically because this is a lens that I recommend to a lot of people that are DX shooters, 7500, 7200, 5500, because it works very well on those cameras. It's a little bigger than the DX version. However, if you upgrade into a full frame body, you've got already got your full frame FX capable lens. And this actually performs quite well on all of the uh, FX bodies. It's, it's kind of a sleeper in the sense that uh, it's a very good performing lens for the price. So that's it on the 7500. Looking forward to shooting with this. For those of you that don't um, fully grasp how the crop works on these, because this is a 70 to 300 and we've put it on the DX body, the 20 megapixel sensor in here, same as in the D500, um, it's got a 1.5 crop in comparison to a full frame sensor. What that does for us is gives us more reach in effective field of view. So this is a 70 to 300, but at the long end then, 
it effectively becomes a 450 when we apply that crop. So when we're extended out to 300 there, we've got a field of view of 450 millimeters, which is quite a nice reach and also gets down to why a lot of people like to shoot with a pair, a crop body as well as a full frame body for the added reach. A lot of bird photographers, sports photographers like to grab their DX or their crop sensor body um, to put a lens on and get that added reach. So it's, it's nice. But um, so we'll be shooting with that today. We'll be shooting with the 18 to 140. Not sure if I'm going to take the 50 F 14 D with me today, but we will be playing with that as well. Again, I'm just going to double check that the motor drive is in here, but I'm almost positive it is. Um, and uh, yeah, if you guys have any questions about the 7300, any questions about the 70, 7500 or the 18 140, let me know. Leave them in the comments below. Happy to uh, get back to you on them. If there's something I don't know, I can always check with Nikon. Um, I'm very eager to see how this um, body performs. This has a, a higher-end autofocus system. I think it's a 75-point autofocus system, 15 cross-type sensors, I believe. Um, and we've got the high ISO capable sensor in here. This is supposed to be better by a stop or two than say the 7200 because it is the lower resolution, the 20 megapixel in comparison to the 7200's 24 megapixel or the 7100's or the 5500's or the 5600 or the 3400. This is very unique sensor in the sense that it's only in the 7500 here and in the D500. So as I said, this is like a baby D500. So it should be fun. Uh, it should be interesting to see what we can get from it. We'll show you some uh, images and some video. Again, let me know in the comments below if you have any questions. Thanks for tuning in. Stay tuned. We'll be back soon here at artoftheimage.com.